This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here for with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, May 28th, Happy Memorial Day, through this coming Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. The full moon is in Sagittarius on Tuesday, May 29th, and this adds a lovely dash of optimism to this week. So allow the full moon to increase your ability to see what you wish to enjoy for the long term. Your understanding of where you want to go and where you'd like to end up gives you the direction for how to approach your dreams and goals more effectively. And there are many other planetary aspects surrounding this full moon that are giving us the ability to embrace doing things differently, positively differently, <laughs> to actually make a difference in our outcomes. So it's time to shake it up and change the dynamics. No more doing the same thing the same way and expecting different outcomes. We are actually able to shift and pivot, allowing the foresight to change our interactions for the better. There's a lot of joy energy this week as well. Joy to embrace our life in imaginative and creative new ways that empower us as they connect us to our life purpose. Being able to enjoy the process and understand the path gives us so much more to work with. Let this joyous light illuminate for you to give you insight for how each choice, each decision, each thought, each energetic wave is actually determining the flow of your life. Your goals will unfold so much more easily as you mindfully manage your energy and you manage the energy around you and make each personal choice absolutely deliberately and mindfully in alignment with your desired outcomes. And the planets are providing the backdrop of positive energy to carry you through taking your positive action. So ideally, what would you like to experience? And this Sagittarius full moon brings us even-tempered, gentle energy that connects us with the beauty of our lives, realizing what we already have that's so beneficial. And this will awaken spirituality and imagination for harmony and lovely balance. So allow optimism to rule this week. And it's the perfect time for you to get a personal reading to address all you wish to understand and bring into your alignment in your life. And readings are on sale. <laughs> I've had them on sale for Memorial Day. They're on sale till midnight on Wednesday. So um, when you check out, use coupon code MDAY and you'll get your 15% discount. All the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net, and it's on my Facebook page. So you know you want a reading. And here's benevolent goodness for you to be able to get one. All right, let's see what we got this week. What the cards hold for us. I'm going to lay them out and then go over each one to give you a complete reading for the energy of this week. I love these water cards. Emotional balance. <laughs> We're ending with the world. I love it. And in the middle, changing your perspective. All right, let's go over each one. The Queen of Water. We're starting with emotional solutions and creative solutions and recognizing that you are tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, <laughs> and loving. So allow these attributes to give you the solutions you want this week. This is about relationships, relationships, you know, 
coming to a new level. It's about companionship and understanding what you value, the joy that you value in your relationships. And it's also very much about the relationship that you have with yourself, that self-love, unconditional self-love. When you've mastered that, then everything else in your life comes into alignment and you suddenly find yourself surrounded by people who love and appreciate you. And you know there's nothing better than that. That's complete alignment. So to help you with that unconditional self-love, trust your intuition. And trust your intuition with the other relationships in your life that tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving intuition that's trustworthy and reliable. It's beautiful insight for you that gives you the direction that you need. And I love it. <laughs> this is something's got to change. <laughs> Something significant needs to change in your life. And Archangel Shamuel can help you with this. This is those light bulbs going off and the epiphanies and the aha moments of understanding what's no longer working for you. It's that energy of I keep trying to make something work, but it's not working. So allow this to help things to shift in your life. You're ready to pivot. You're ready for the new beginnings that are in more direct alignment with what you want to experience and allow you to spread your wings and have all the enjoyment and love and peace and harmony and goodness and life purpose and creative alignment that is your highest purpose, that is your life on your blueprint for your life goodness. And then the Knight of Water, more emotional wonderfulness. <laughs> He's on a quest. He reminds you you are emotional in a positive way, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. And you know, your, emo your emotions are your guidance system. So don't let people talk you out of your emotions. Pay attention. Any emotions that are sort of overwhelming to you and out of control or are, you know, veering towards rage or anger, those are emotions that you need to get help with. Your other emotions are sort of your guidance system to show you whether you're in a safe and trustworthy environment and, you know, what things need to change and come into alignment for your better and happier outcomes. So allow that. It helps you to fall in love. It helps love to grow the way that's the healthiest and the best for you. And any time that your emotions are a bit out of skew, you can balance them with deep breaths. You can balance them by getting some help with the reading and understanding what their origin is so you can heal and move on in a healthy way. And this is go out and have fun with your friends. Don't stay in and, you know, be with your emotions alone. Get out and enjoy your friends and make connections. And that will make your life have more balance. More, I love it. All the court cards. We're only missing the king of water. Here's the page. The page is a messenger. Again, you're intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. All these, these are like the most Perfect attributes for this week. <laughs> the Sagittarius Full Moon Energy Week that's filled with a lot of joy energy. Allow this to work to your advantage and allow new people to come into your life that are more in alignment with where you want to go and what you want to experience. And, you know, relationships, if you're in a current relationship, it will enter a new phase. And this is also adding to that intuitive knowing that you're very psychic. You know, everyone is psychic. It's just recognizing those abilities and allowing them. As you trust and build them, they become more reliable and more recognizable for you. And I love it. The heart of the reading in the middle is awakening. This is the card of 
changing your perspective. <laughs> Hanging upside down to get a different look at things. Archangel Gabriel to help you with this. This is also the card of things that are sort of out of your control need to come into alignment. Things that you cannot affect. You're just in a waiting game with those things to allow them to come into the alignment that then involves you. So, yes, look at things from a different perspective. Hopefully, this was a holiday weekend for you and you got a bit of a break. That always helps with perspective. And anything that's at a temporary standstill, just know that it's temporary. It will move. It will change. And it's important to honor yourself. Honor what's in your heart. Honor what's important to you. Those things that are truly in alignment with you experiencing all the things that you want to experience. And beautiful card, the Ten of Earth. This is very much an outcome card of you having money and having family and having all the things that you want to enjoy in your life. This is, yeah, financial security, finding magic. <laughs> I love that energy because, you know, it's the magical things that we don't expect that really wake us up and really get us on the right track to what brings us the greatest joy. So it's allowing and recognizing that magic and believing in it. And tens are doorways. So you, this is going through the doorway to the life you love, to the abundant, prosperous, loving, family connection, all the creative outpouring of all your imaginative goodness, and everything you wish to experience, your good health, all of that is what this card holds. So it's fantastic energy. To reassure you, changing that perspective leads to such good, good things. And then the Two of Fire, this is about embarking on your journey. It's about realizing that you hold the world in your hands and you can go wherever you want and you can do whatever you want with your gifts and your talents. And going ahead and taking action on that to bring things to you. So I love this recognition of you've come into your own and allowing those new partnerships and continuing to move forward from a good space. These cards are very much alignment to the good space that you want to experience. And the Ace of Fire reinforces this Two of Fire. The Two is embarking on the journey and the Ace is the new beginnings. The creative, imaginative, what do you want to give birth to? What do you want to sprout and grow in your life? Energy. So I love it. New, uh, exciting new opportunities, career advancement. <laughs> the theme I keep talking about, change your life now. Change it for the better. Don't keep involving yourself in things that don't make you happy or lower your vibration or dishonor what's in your heart. Those are the things that have to go. And now, after that, you get your new beginning. The new, wonderful, exciting, all the things you want to experience beginning. And I love the last card, and it's pulling directly from that Ten of Earth above it. It's the highest card in the Major Arcana. It's the world. <laughs> it's 21, it's 3, it's expansion. Archangel Michael reminding you you're in alignment and you're protected and this is all the outcomes that you wish to experience this is telling you a job well done and contentment and gratitude and the path towards enlightenment and all the symbolism of this card it's very very meaningful these infinity symbols above and below you are divinely connected and you are grounded to mother earth and all of this is all the elements, water and fire and, sorry, air, fire, water and earth. All of that, all in alignment. You're in the middle. Your wings are spread. You've got wands in each hand. Everything turns out the way that you want it to. But you've got to take the steps. You can't just sit there and in your chair and daydream about it. Daydreaming, <laughs> however, is 
good for a beginning because it gets the energy in alignment. If you're thinking about things that bring you joy and things that make you so happy, then you're getting your energy into alignment. But at some point, you've got to jump out of the chair and take the actual steps. So this card is telling you if you do that, you will arrive in the perfect place. And I would love to give you a reading. So please take advantage of this wonderful sale and get your reading before you can pay for it by Wednesday at midnight. You don't have to book it before Wednesday at midnight. You can decide that maybe you want it at a later date and take advantage of the sale price now. So all the information, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye.